Hello everyone, in my head I have obviously tea empty, so this is what I'm doing for this video. Um, I like to do a mix of tea videos, and once in a while I'll do something other than tea, just so people don't get bored, but I do love doing tea videos. So, for February, I drank 69 cups of tea this month, which isn't that bad. I always like to kind of like, um, pass my tea drinking goals from like year like last year so I did not do that last February I drank 79 cups and this month I only drank 69 but that's for a lot of tea I've heard some people drink like <laughs> over a hundred um for some reason maybe because it was like near the start of um uh COVID or like where lockdown really started to happen for a lot of people um my highest tea consumption was in April of last year and I had a hundred and nine cups. I don't know how. Um, it just seems like last year, maybe because of COVID, I've been drinking more cups, but it's, we're still kind of in COVID and I haven't been drinking as much, but still like a lot. So still like, you know, uh, 60 to more. Um, so I have two tea related items that aren't tea, but they're kind of infused with tea. So, I mean, if I have like a agave, I might include that. Um, but if it's like coffee, I won't. But if it's tea or I got it from like David C, I'll include that. So first off, I have this tea infused lip butter in the scent, uh, tea scent vanilla orchid. Now, I can't really smell, but it is a really nice butter where it, <laughs> I like a lip balm that goes on nicely. It did fall at one point and it would like fall out of the thing so there's not really that much left it's just like that much but I can't really get out anymore so it's pretty much empty it looks really old because I've had it since I was like in grade 7 I believe or grade 8 that was like oh like six seven years ago um so it's been a while uh I got this from like um uh, a friend birthday present well I guess it was my dad's friend um, but yeah, it was really nice. I would get this again. They did change their packaging on the lip butters, but I definitely get this again when I go to David T eventually. Um, but yeah, but don't it. Really nice. I think I'd get this again, like the same flavor, but I'd also like to try like a different one too. But I mean, with lip balms, I have so many and it's so hard. It takes so long to finish them that I don't really want too many, but I would definitely get one of these again. So lip butter, very good. And then in from the matcha advent calendar was a honey with matcha. I didn't include the candy because I kind of forgot, but oh well. Um, and maybe I did with the matcha alligator candies, but those are good. Um, but this is the honey with matcha. I cleaned the jar straight. Like I took every last drop and then I like cleaned it out. So it looks really nice. Cute jar. I don't really sweeten my teas, so I just put this on like toast. Um, I really like like creamed honey on toast. Um, or bagels, I guess. So this was really good. It was a good amount. Um, it looks really weird being green. <laughs> so, I mean, I think people would see that. I'd be like, what are you eating? Um, but yeah, it was really good. So it was just the plain honey with matcha. And it was 50 grams. Um, yeah, some people weren't sure if it of the best before date. Because I guess the order of the numbers didn't make sense. Um, so, or maybe it did. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is, this was good. I don't know if I'd get it, because I'd just do regular honey. Um, but if someone gave it to me, I would use that, or I'd really like to use it, I guess. Next up with tea. Um, I, let's, oh my gosh, I probably should have organized this a little bit quicker. Okay, um, so I've been trying to sip down older packages, and I, I feel I'm at a point where I don't really want to buy tea right now. Like, I kind of do. But I don't have the urge to actually do it because I want to finish teas, finish enough teas where I feel in control that I can buy more teas. Um, this has been sitting around in my collection for a while. It's not a big sample pack, but it's from the Celestial Seasoning. I really do Celestial. I really do like Celestial Seasonings teas. There's something I want to try though. Um, but this is the Lemon Zinger from the Herbal Sampler Pack. Um, this is really nice. Uh, I also my dad really liked it too. So four tea bags of the lemon zinger. So I've had it for a little bit. I think I had it from like 2018, started 2019. So I thought it would be good to finish up. 
and I have two more from the sampler pack, the Honey Vanilla Chamomile and the Sleepy Time, so that may take me a while to finish, but I would like to finish those up soon. Um, I have my first tea empty from Adagio Teas, which this is so delicious. Um, this is the Golden Monkey Black Tea, and it's just Golden Monkey, so it's just like a black tea, and it was so nice. I steeped it. I think I had like three servings from this and each serving I steeped three times so I had like nine cups from this little sampler so that was really nice very delicious I'd get a golden monkey tea again um, I'm really in the mood for the black teas as I have said many times so I'm really trying to like use that to my advantage of drinking black teas <laughs> before I'm like okay I need a break for black tea um, but yeah uh, golden monkey very delicious um, I think I'm, my battery is going to die, so I'm just going to move quickly. Gosh. Oh my gosh. There. Okay. Maybe I should have done that before. It's all good. Quick intermission. Uh. Okay, I think we're good. If not, I may have to redo this. <laughs> okay, so yeah, go to Monkey. I would definitely rebuy. Um, very delicious. I have many other teas from Adagio that I would need to dry, but I would definitely get more Adagio teas. <laughs> um, and then I've been also sipping up um, some of the Badam tea bags that I have. Very delicious. Um, so I got like a 15 tea bag sampler pack from Amazon a while ago and they are so delicious it's like a mix of like black tea green tea there's an oolong there's like a an herbal but mostly um black and green so I had the earl grey citrus really good I steeped this three times I believe yeah so it was a good earl grey tea um cardamom spice I know Stephanie from tea leaf project really likes uh cardamom and I think she really liked this tea. It was nice, but I don't know if I totally noticed if the cardamom was spicy or not. Because I know cardamom is a spice. Um, but I don't know. I guess it was it was okay. I liked it. Um, I don't know if I'd get a big bag. But I steeped this three times. It's just black tea with cardamom. So mostly black tea. So I tasted most of the black tea. And it just, I guess I did taste cardamom. Just wasn't sure how to understand the taste of it I guess <laughs> um but this was good and I had the organic Himalayan which is a straight green tea I steeped this three times again so most of the the damn teas I've been steeping like three times um just so I get all the flavors and enough cups to actually um appreciate the tea I guess so yeah very delicious although Susie I think I had this too long in my fridge so the third steep I was like okay I don't think a fourth steep would be good when you know to not re-steep a tea, you know. <laughs> because it just, it doesn't have to be the color, it's just the flavor, you just know it's not going to do a good final steep. So that, most of those teas were good for three steeps, but I think if I did four, I'd get either really bored or maybe not be as strong. Uh, another tea to sample size of the Coco Loco, which is just cacao bean husk which is really good i think the first couple times i had this i was like okay this is weird but it's really lightly colored when it's steeped it's like a pale yellow but it's very delicious it does take taste chocolatey because it is cacao bean husk um there is like a, um, a tea tea brand that people have got in their supply boxes often um the me cacao which is cacao bean husk so this is pretty similar to that i haven't tried that but it's i think it's just cacao bean husk in that tea and this is just cacao bean husk so um but that was really good i liked it we have i'm still really trying to focus on my tea bags um this month i'm also going to finish or try to make a dent in some tea bags but i think next month i'm going to try to do more loose leaf i feel uh this is kind of mixed i guess um i have three tea bags of the chamomile lavender from english tea shops i have like six left so i really want to finish them up um uh, it's a really nice tea but it's just i'm not totally in the mood for chamomile right now so i really want to drink this up but very good if you like um bedtime teas 
we have two tea bags of the Hailey's Echinacea Ginger Root Tea. Very delicious. I don't know when I'm going to finish this. Uh, I think it was like a pack of 25, but I thought it was 20, so I thought it was going to be done quicker. But then I count them, and it's like so many. So it's going to take me a while to finish this tea, but this is really good. And I think it's a tea that I kind of drink only when I feel kind of sick or like when I just want something light. But it's very good. Um... Um, we have some President's Choice teas. Again, some of these teas I'm really trying to finish or want to finish soon. We have a cranberry, which I would like to finish soon, but it's really good. Nice tart tea. Uh, ginger peach, really good. I like the old formula better, but this is the good formula too. It tastes more peachy, but ginger peach. We have a dirty chai, black tea with espresso coffee. Um, very delicious. We have some Bigelow teas. Oh my gosh, I really do like Bigelow teas. I would love to have like more of the green teas. Uh, they, the green tea pomegranate uh, is really good. The green tea original, really good. I really like to try like most of their teas. But I've tried some of their teas. Orange spice, orange and spice, a very great tea. Classic, nice, you know, herbal warm up tea when it's cold outside. And then we have a cinnamon apple. Um, I prefer the orange spice better, but this is still really good. Cinnamon apple. We have a stash maple apple slider, which again, I want to finish soon, but um, haven't yet, but hopefully um, this month or next month, I guess. But stash maple apple slider. Uh, we have a English tea shop rooibos tea bag. Very good. Straight rooibos. Then we have a Tazo Zen tea bag. Very delicious. Uh, probably pretty similar to the Tivana Jade Citrus Mint. Um, very delicious. I would kind of like to try to finish that up. And then we also have Christmas tea from Davidson's, which I got in a sippy box a while ago. I don't do that box anymore because it was kind of expensive. But if you wanted to get a subscription box, um, that's an American one. So maybe if you're Canadian, you might want to try Canadian subs a subscription box. I know Dessert by Deb does really good ones. I would like to do more des uh, Canadian tea subscription boxes but I haven't yet but and this is really good tea it's a spiced black tea with peppermint and orange peel and very delicious so yeah those were my tea empties um I really like them I hope <laughs> um this is just like a start to like slowly make more progress on teas like I have different boxes of teas I want to finish so I plan on just finishing teas as much as I can I really am on a buy man I'm not just saying that I do feel like I'm at a maximum that I don't really want to buy anything right now so I'm going to use that to my advantage and finish teas up that I've been wanting to drink, to drink for a while and in this way I'm trying teas that I haven't tried in a while have have tried teas that I haven't even tried at all and just you know finishing teas that I'm like okay these are really good I may want to buy more when I'm done my buy ban so hopefully you had a great month of sips <laughs> of sipping down teas Mine was okay. I mean, I would like to make more of a dent and see, like, bigger progress, but this is still good progress. So, hopefully you enjoyed, and check out for my next video. Bye!